Hello boys and girls, welcome to our ESL time. Today, don't forget, paguen el español, Shh. turn on English. Shh. All right, so today we have the letter T. And the letter T today, we have our keyword. Here's our letter T, and here is our picture of our um, keyword for T, tomato. For this one, tomato. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share with you some information. You know, the keyword is tomato, and the sound is t, t, t. But let's name some words that are in English that begin with the letter T. Like tin, everybody say tin, tin. Like the word tent, t tent. Like the word tape, tape. Like the word table, table. Like the word two, two. So what I want you to do is I want you to repeat them after me. I'm going to say the word and then I want you to repeat it right after me. Tin. Your turn. Tin. Your turn. And I want to share that this tin, T-E-N, is the number tin. But when we see T-I-N, tin, this is like a container, a tin. Normally they're made out of metal. Tin. Then tent, your turn. Tape, your turn. Table, your turn. All right, boys and girls, and one more word. Two, the number two. Well, that also, I want you to know the T um, is also uh, in Spanish. The Spanish and the, the Spanish letter T is T, and so we also say tomate, tomate, and so when we hear T, we say tomato, and so now we we're going to review the E. The E, remember. E is the letter, and this is our keyword, elephant, and the sound that it makes is eh, 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 like elephant. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take you to some new words that you're going to be introduced to in our story. We're still on the same story. Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. Today's words you might see and hear there are startled. Startled means to become surprised or scared. And the Spanish word is sorprendido. Like the dog startled me when she jumped on my lap. Like saying like she like scared me. And so perplex is another word. Perplex means confused. The Spanish word is confundido, like I was perplexed when they told me we missed the bus. And our next word is muttered. Muttered, the Spanish word is murmuró, to speak in a low tone that is hard to understand, to mumble. Like the girl muttered to herself when she fell to catch the ball. And so, boys and girls, be looking to hear, and maybe you might even see them in the story today. Because we're going to continue with Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. Well, if you remember from yesterday, Sylvester, he had really put himself in a bind because he had wished that um, he would turn into a rock. But because the marble wasn't in his hand, 
Well, then he couldn't turn himself back. So he was going to hope that somebody could come and pick it up and wish for him to turn back. So Sylvester yesterday had fallen asleep and he said, well, what else could he do? So night came with many stars. Well, meanwhile, back at home, Mr. and Mrs. Duncan, they paced the floor, frantic with worry. Sylvester had never come home late, later than dinner time. Where could he be? They stayed up all night wondering what had happened, expecting that Sylvester would surely turn up by morning, but he didn't. Of course, Mrs. Duncan, she cried a lot, and Mr. Duncan did his best to soothe her. Both longed to have their dear son with them. I will never scold Sylvester again as long as I live, said Mrs. Duncan, no matter what he does. And at dawn, they went about inquiring of all the neighbors. They went around asking all the neighbors if they had seen Sylvester. Does this illustration look similar to our cover? It sure does. That's why Sylvester's parents were on the cover, because they were looking for him. He didn't come home. That's what your mom and dad would be doing also for you. They would be wanting to know if you didn't come home, they would be looking for you too. Well, they talked to all the children, the puppies, the kittens, the colts, the piglets. No one had seen Sylvester since the day before yesterday. They went to the police. The police could not find their child. And all the dogs in Oaksdale went searching for him. They sniffed behind every rock and tree and blade of grass into every nook and gully of the neighborhood and beyond, but found not a scent of him. They sniffed the rock on Strawberry Hill, but it smelled like a rock. It didn't smell like Sylvester. So they're out looking for him even out there. And after a month, they looked for a whole month. A day turned into a week, and a week turned into a month. And they were searching all over the same places over and over again, and inquiring of the same animals over and over again. And Mr. and Mrs. Duncan, they no longer knew what to do. They concluded that something dreadful must have happened, and that they would probably never see their son again. Though all the time, he was just less than a mile away. He was really close by, but they didn't know it because they're looking for their son. They're not looking for a rock. Then they tried their best to be happy, to go about their usual ways. But their usual ways included Sylvester, and they were always reminded of him. They were miserable. Life had no meaning for them anymore. They were really sad, boys and girls. They were so sad because they didn't have their son. And even though they had to continue with going to work and, and eating and getting ready and doing all the things that moms and dads have to do, it's so hard for them to do all these things because they didn't have their son there with them. So if you're at home right now, we're going to be asking you some questions. And these questions are possibly going to end up on your Google Class. And if so, you're going to see them in English. But what we'll do is we'll also translate them so that you can understand what they are. And so boys and girls, that way we know that you're able to see them. So here, I'm going to ask this question, what was the first wish the pebble granted Sylvester? Well, let's see if you remember.
What was it? What was it that he wished for? Well, if you remember, it was that. Anybody out there remember? Anybody remember that wish? In that wish, Sylvester wished that the rain would stop, and it did. Well, what happened when Sylvester saw the hungry lion? Does anybody remember? What happened? Remember he got real scared? And he got real scared, and he panicked, and he did something. What did he do? Well, if you remember, he panicked. He got scared, and he didn't think carefully. And because he didn't think carefully, his wish, what did he wish for? He turned into a rock. And that's exactly what he did. Okay, boys and girls, we'll see you tomorrow.